mis ojitos. I know we did this right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, a message. Hey, Amanda. Great, we did it right. Cool. Hi, guys. Hello. You're just gonna stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it a couple minutes for mm -hmm. everything to get started. I'm Madison Payne. Most of you know me. This is Kira. Hi guys. And this is Shayna and Pepper. That's Pepper. She's part of the crew. She's part of our crew. Yeah. Hello. Hee <laughs> pretty. Oh, wow. Look. Um. Your outfit's giving me some compliments. Oh, thank Any you. Comments. Merci. Cool. So. Hello. I've been told there's a lot of delay, but that we're good. Uh, so today we are going to do a play by Dwayne Yancey, who I think Mallory mentioned is joining us tonight. It is titled, Chef Pierre Does Not Do Simple. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and then get started. Excited to see you guys. <laughs> She went to places. Yeah, she went to places. She's ready to be in the show. Sacre bleu! I'm a professional chef, not a shorter cook. Yes, I realize that, but the network says that you have to do it this way for the show now. And this is not how it's done in Paris, and this is not how it's done in New York. Okay, well, this isn't Paris, and I know this isn't what you're used for, but the network says that you can lose the phony French accent, too. This is not phony! Okay. It's just the network has feeling some heat from our sponsors. They, they love what you're doing, but they just want you to slow it down a little bit. You know, our market research shows that our consumers aren't familiar with your very intense cooking lingo. Then learn them! Okay, but that's not the generation now. It's not Betty Crocker, it's Brittany Crocker. If you were just simplify a little. Why don't you just put it in the microwave? Put that on your TV show. Oh, oh here is the start button. Push it. Oh, how is that simple enough for you? Well, that's getting there here. I made up a list of words that we would like you to stop using on the show, and I think that... But I never said this. I mean, maybe I said this once in a while if I cut my finger, but never on the air. Oh. Oh, oh, that's, that's the wrong list. That's for the comedy troupe in Studio B. Here, here's yours. Now, I was thinking that I would stand over here and I'd give you this hand signal every time I need you to simplify. Wait, 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 wait what is wrong with saute? What do you mean I can't say saute? How am I supposed to saute mushrooms if I cannot say saute? He tried simmer. People understand simmer. Uh, but, but it is not simmer. It is saute. They are different. Okay, five, 15 seconds to air. All right, just remember, simplify, okay? Simplify. Oh. Oh, I'll simplify. I will simplify, sure. All right, everybody ready in five, four. Ladies and gentlemen, the Good Living Network is pleased to present Chef Pierre's Secrets of the French Kitchen. And now the star of our show, Chef Pierre. Ah, bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, especially the ladies, yes, oh, especially the ladies. I hope you enjoyed last week's show where we made the omelette de escargot, <clears throat> one of my specialties. We've gotten lots of response to that one. Some of you have emailed, some of you have written via the more traditional snail mail. <laughs> Just a bit of Chef Pierre humor for you. I see. Yes, well... Today, we have a sweet treat for you. Oh, yes, we do. Today, we're going to be making Chef Pierre's triple secret coconut cream cake surprise. Mm -hmm. Now, this one
sound maybe a little complicated, but I'll try to make it simple for you so that everyone can follow along and enjoy this delicious treat. Oh yes, Chef Rivier will simplify, all right? I'll simplify just fine. Now, I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and that means I've turned it on for all of you out there who don't know what preheating means. And uh, I've already greased my cake pans. That means I've smeared them all over with shortening. I don't know what else you would use to grease cake pans. Motor oil, hairspray, Vaseline. What you do in your own home is none of my concern. Uh, but back to the recipe, shall we? Next, we need to make sure we have a large bowl. See? A large bowl. Not the small bowl. Not the medium bowl. Not the sugar bowl, not the rice bowl, not the rose bowl, not the super bowl, but the large bowl. Let's all say it together, shall we? Large bowl. Is that simple enough for you? Large. Now, the next thing we'll need are five eggs. Eggs. Yes. Uh, Separated, of course. Uh, but uh, perhaps you don't know what an egg is. Uh, this is an egg. It comes out of the chicken's rear end. Like, like this. Oh, uh, But have no fear. You can uh, find these at any respectable grocer. Uh, now, as I say, you need to separate the eggs. And Okay, uh, I see my producer is giving me the signal to simplify. So I will simplify. What do I mean when I say we need to separate the eggs? I mean you need to separate the oak from the rest of the egg. See, you can do this by gently tapping the egg like this. See? Voila! Separated. Let's move this one the way so you can see. So there! Simple! Yes. Now, or perhaps you would like to do it like this. Or, you can do it like this. Or, if you're in a hurry, perhaps you can smash two eggs together like this. There! Now we have five eggs separated. Simple, yes? No! No! This is how you separate the eggs. You put the yellow part here, and then you put the rest of it right here. There! <sighs> so, we add the egg yolks into this bowl here. See? Large bowl. We're going to put the yolks in here. And then we put in some sugar and some butter. And then we have to beat it. Beat it? Okay. My producer is again signaling to me that you, some of you, might not know what it means to beat something. So, perhaps the term beat is uh, too esoteric for you. Maybe uh, too foreign or some fancy French word, perhaps. So, we simplify. First, let me demonstrate what beat is not. We don't just mix it. We don't just stir it. We don't just mash it up. We beat it. Beat it. We smack it around on the rump like a cheap Parisian tart in a hotel. There, we beat it like you would beat a dog with a rolled up newspaper. Or, or we beat it, beat it like a schoolmaster in England would beat a pupil with a measuring stick. We beat it. Oh, well, look here. It's been beaten. Okay, next, the recipe calls for some bleached flour. Yes? Okay. Now, uh, do you take your laundry bleach and mix it in like this? <laughs> oh, they're nice and bleached. Yes. No, no, not that kind of bleach. If you don't know the difference between bleached flour and laundry bleach, then you have no business being in a kitchen. Uh, you are an insult to the culinary arts, and you should never again be allowed to pick up a spatula ever again. Oh, no, I, I, the genius that is Chef Pierre, I, uh, uh, oh, uh, 
Um, I see where my producer is giving me the signal that we need to take a short break. So uh, we will be right back after this word from our sponsors. All right, we're off the air. What the hell are you doing? I'm simplifying. You're making an ass out of yourself, and oh, look at this mess that there is to clean up. Oh, I don't clean up. I'm a professional chef. Oh. The staff cleans up. That's what they're for. Oh, my God. This is a disaster. The network is going to throw a fit. A uh, phone call from the network? Oh, good. They said the phones are lighting up. I bet they are. They love it. What? Yep. This one guy says that this is the first cooking show he's watched that's actually ever made any sense. Oh. And, and this one wants to know what happens if you do grease a cake pan with, with hairspray. Oh, sorry, boo. And this one wants to know the address of the Parisian dance hall. Oh, that is the uh, Palais de la Rouge. It's near the Champs-Élysées. They're, they're not kidding? They're not kidding. So it's a hit. It's a hit. One minute till air. Oh my god, this is great news. Did you hear? It's a hit. It's, it's, a, it's a hit. Yes, I blew you stupid Americans. Oh, no, no, no. You can't leave now. Where are you going? Come back. We're, we're on the air. You cannot leave. Oh, no. You Americans, you're all the same. You want things in a hurry. You want them to be simple. You want them to be cheap. Well, good food doesn't come in a hurry. In a hurry, good food takes time. Good food is complicated. Chef Pierre does not do simple. Goodbye. Adieu. What now? Uh, just uh, call the comedy troupe in Studio B. Um, okay. And and tell them to keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That was our show. Thanks for coming and tuning in, guys. And thank you for supporting Phoenix Tears no, and 10-Minute no, 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 Tuesdays. No, no, no. Uh, We're going to update the bio of this video, not the bio, the description, uh, to include the social media from all of our actors. And we were excited to be part of this. I wish this mustache was real. <laughs>